Hi, in this tiny tip, I'm going to show you how I create a template page for my Power BI. And then I use that template over and over every time I create a new page. And it provides me with some consistency between page to page on a single report. Where it says page number one is I'll rename this to blank. This is my template. And then one of the things that I like to do is I like to have a background color, some light color, something that matches my logo, uh, but just enough to make the visuals pop a little bit on the page so you could see where one visual begins and another visual ends. This is just a personal preference of mine. So what I'm going to do is come over to the visualization pane, click on the paint roller for the format. I'm going to go to the page background and I'm going to change the color from white let me just choose a light blue right now and I'm going to set the transparency. I don't want it to be too bright, just a little bit to make everything pop. That looks pretty good. And actually what I'd like to do perhaps is even change the whole color theme. So I'm going to go up to view and drop down from the color theme. And my favorite one is this high contrast. I like having something that has green and red in it and that may need to be a little more transparent than actually let me go back and select blue again okay so that looks pretty good I like that now one of the things I do not like about this particular theme is when you add a visual on so I'm just going to add one on for show sometimes the background color is off so what I'm going to do, just to ensure that that's right, is I'll click on the drop down right here and I'm going to customize the current theme and this window will pop up and then I'm going to come in, I like to check that my sentiment colors and my divergent colors are what I would expect. That looks good. And then I'm going to come over to visuals and on the background color, you can see this is set to 50%, I'm going to set it to zero. So the background color really kind of pops white for the background, and that makes me happy. Now I'm gonna delete that visual. The next thing that I like to do is I like to go ahead and put a title on the report. And so I'll click on insert, add a text box, and then I'm gonna put in my title as being a uh, blank. And then I'll go ahead and set a font size for this. Uh, that's too small. Let me come in and maybe make it 32, make it bold, and then I'll stretch that out. Okay, and I do like to keep the background color on this hidden. So the background color is off right now. I do not like it on for that. But now I have this consistent spot where I'm putting in the title of my report page. And then I'll go ahead and also add in a image for my logo. And there's my logo. So I'll put it up in the top and I'm gonna shrink it up a little bit. So now I have my logo, I have my title all set, and this is my template. And it's all ready to rock and roll. If I want to create a report page, I'll just simply come down to blank, right mouse click, and duplicate. And then every time I create a new page, I have the starting point and I have some consistency. Hope this tiny tip helps.